Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sunday reset routine. Today's video is going to be full of cleaning motivation. I have some organizing to do, laundry, as well as some other things that you might forget to do to get ready for the upcoming week. So let's get started. We're just going to do a quick little walk around and just show you guys the things that I need to tackle in today's video, starting with the laundry. I have a few loads that I need to fold and put away. They've been sitting up here for a few days and then I'm going to tackle the towels. They're overflowing. So I need to throw those in the washing machine and then pick up around the house because our elf has been leaving a little bit of a mess everywhere. I also want to tackle our shoe closet and see what I can do to change things up in here. Not loving this at all. And then upstairs on the railing, I have more laundry that I need to fold and put away. We're going to start in the kitchen though, because when I need to clean the house, I like to start in the kitchen because I feel like that's the hub of the home. And when my kitchen is clean, I can easily just move on to something else. So even if that means piling all my dishes in the sink, wiping my countertops down and coming back to my dishes later, just as long as it's somewhat clean, it's fine with me. kitchen is somewhat clean. I'm going to come back to it later on though and wash the dishes and get that taken care of. I like to have my countertops clear because I do fold laundry on my countertop sometimes if I'm watching something on TV and then I'll just bring everything upstairs. But we're going to move on to the living room. All right, so one of the things on my list was to vacuum the couch and lift all the cushions up. So I'm just going to make my vacuum handheld by switching out the attachments and I'm going to start by vacuuming all the cushions and then I'm going to lift everything up and vacuum underneath. I definitely thought I was going to find a bunch of hair ties, bobby pins, crumbs, and a bunch of popcorn kernels, but it's actually not that bad. And really the only thing we eat on the couch is popcorn. So that's the majority of the crumbs that you see. So I'm going to vacuum that up really quick and move on. So far, so far. 
if you've watched any of my Christmas decorate with me videos, I did go a little minimal this year with Christmas decor just because I really wasn't feeling it this year. This is going to be my first Christmas without my mom. So I really wasn't feeling it. And then the other reason was because we're going to be gone for a couple of weeks. So we're not even going to be here during Christmas. But I do think next year will be different. I'm even thinking about pulling in some of those traditional Christmas colors, but we'll see. really quick let's rewind back a couple of days when I picked up this set of three flocked Christmas trees from Walmart I think it was under $60 for all three and they come in these little galvanized pots I'm not a fan of galvanized anything but I got these to put on my front porch they do say indoor only but they're gonna be right by my front door which is covered when it rains that area never gets wet so hopefully these trees will be okay I am gonna string some lights on them and raise the tallest one up a little bit higher. And my goal is just to create a simple winter look on my front porch. to vacuum and then I realize I am going to be taking everything out of this closet anyway which is right there in my entryway. I'm going to vacuum later on but for now we're going to tackle this closet. This is our shoe closet. It also holds other things that we need to grab going out the door like gloves, scarves, hats, the kids lunch boxes are in here but I do want to find another home for that stuff and just use this mainly for shoes. We don't wear shoes in our house so we have to have a designated spot for the kids shoes. Me and Brandon usually just take our shoes upstairs. You're going to see me move things in and out trying to figure out what I want to do with this closet for now. Maybe later on we might do something a little bit more elaborate but for now I'm just going to find a better solution for this closet. I said I want that closet just to be for shoes so I'm gonna move on down the hall to our office where this closet is a little bit of a mess it could use some organization because I want to move all those scarves and hats and lunch boxes to this closet because it is by the front door and also by our garage door but as you can see we just have stuff kind of thrown in here a lot of this stuff has been here since we moved and just never really organized so I'm gonna try my best to make it functional we do use this for the kids coats as well so I want to keep that aspect there but I'm gonna take everything out and we'll see what we end up with
here's what it's looking like right now. I'm actually pretty satisfied with it because like I said, it's in our office and those two containers with the boys' names on it, I have to have downstairs or else they wouldn't be organized. Well, there's just certain things that I have to have down here in our office closet, but everything is functional. I moved all of those scarves and hats and everything to the office closet for now and the shoes have their own closet and it's just so much better. <laughs> As you can see, just by removing the shelf that was in here along with the rod, I was able to fit my tall shoe shelf in here and it fits perfectly. Now it's strictly a shoe closet. I've been putting off folding clean laundry the last couple days. It's time to get back on track. So I'm gonna get that going. I usually like to put something on TV or have music blasting. That's another reason I do voiceovers because I have music that's usually blasting in the house when I'm cleaning and I can't have any kind of music like that on YouTube. The majority of this load is mostly undershirts and socks to Brandon's uniform, so I'm gonna get that put away and move on to the next load. One thing I try to remember to do on Sundays is wipe my doors down because they get so nasty with kids coming in and out all the time. Believe me, when it does get dirty, I do notice it, but there are times where I just skip over it and be like, I'll just clean that later on. But when I do that, it gets really bad. So I gotta try to remember to at least do it on Sundays. Having clean floors to start the week off is key. This is a big part of my reset routine. It doesn't matter if I'm doing it during the weekend or on Sundays on or off the camera. I have to mop my floors. Today I'm using my power mop, which I love. I just switched out my solution because I ran out. That stuff smells so, so good. If you haven't tried the Swiffer power mop, I highly recommend it. This is the beat of broken hearts. Is it all lost? We can go on again Cause you seem like you want it bad My head is spinning off the edge And I'm getting... 
I had no idea my camera stopped while I was mopping, so you guys are not gonna see the rest of the floors being mopped, but just know that they're nice and clean. I'm moving on to the towels now. They were starting to build up, so I'm gonna throw a load in the washing machine, and then we're going to move on to my bathroom. Keeps it dead in my mind Leading me on like it's whatever We could go on but we should know better We can't go on again Cause you seem like you want it bad My head is spinning off the edge And I'm giving them way too much For my tile in the shower, I'm going to be using my OxyClean Foamtastic Cleaner. I usually like to use Tilex, but I ran out. I definitely need to pick some of that up. That stuff is bomb, but this also works pretty good too. I'm going to do it in sections, so I'm going to do the first half and scrub it and then rinse it and then the second half I'll be able to step out the shower and clean at the same time. If you guys do not have this little scrubber that I have, you need to pick it up. You can find it at Walmart and Target, maybe even your grocery store. It just makes cleaning your shower so much easier, but if you have a ton of smaller tiles in your shower like me, you need this little Rubbermaid power brush or whatever this is. I got it for like $19 at Target. It's the bomb because it gets in between all those little cracks and crevices that you can't get to with a regular brush. And whatever my scrubber doesn't get to or doesn't pick up, I'll just use this. But I'm blessed Didn't know it take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest Cause I'm a mess No more you I 
Sometimes I like to use spray whey on my shower glass because it gets a lot of that soap scum and gunk off of my glass really easily, especially if you use a really good scrubber. And then I'm gonna finish off the bathroom by mopping the floors. For the new you, like I'm old news in your review mirror. It must be nice you went and got a penthouse on your friends. Party and it's real loud. Brand new money with a brand new chest. Still a baby bird fries right off the nest like you. The towels were done, so I just switched those over to the dryer. But before I forget, I need to go ahead and fill up my food drive bag. Anytime there's a food drive going on, I always donate to it. Our kids' school holds a food drive a couple times a year, so we always do that. And then this one is our neighborhood, so everybody gets these little baggies delivered to our front porch and you have the option to fill it up with non-perishables if you want to participate and then just set it on your front porch and in the morning they will come and collect it so that's what i'm doing now All right, so I thought I would get some footage of those Christmas trees that I put together earlier from Walmart. I love it. All I did was string some outdoor Christmas lights on them and I just love how simple the front porch looks. Those two Christmas trees by the steps also have lights on them. I'm not sure why I didn't turn those on. And then closer to the door, I have some lanterns that also come on. I'm not sure why I didn't turn those on either, but I love how simple everything looks and it was really easy and inexpensive. So as you can tell, it was getting a little late, so I decided to stop recording and just finish the next day. I just had a couple things left on my Sunday reset checklist that I needed to get done, and that is to wash my bedding and then sanitize all devices. Since I'm washing sheets today, I'm gonna throw in a good amount of scent beads. I love using scent beads on my towels and bedding because it lingers for a good amount of time. I'm gonna throw in a tiny bit of bleach, then set my machine to the white setting. While the sheets are washing, I'm gonna go ahead and sanitize all of our most used devices. So our remotes, the kids' iPads, their Nintendo Switches, their Oculus, and I did go back and do my phone. This is something that we have to remember to do each week because you'll be surprised on how nasty these things can get.
Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today's Sunday reset routine. I hope you got the motivation you needed. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.